Do, could you remember Hamrick the Hand? Yes. Yeah, we were with you maybe here. Stop drinking, come. Riyadh's River Walk is a center devoted to elegant Spanish-inspired design, food, and coffee. It's probably one of the only places in the world that I've seen designed to house multiple coffee shop brands and experiences, while being done in a way only the Saudis seem to be successful at accomplishing. The center is a plethora of coffee shops and roasters, but tonight we're here to visit Paws Coffee Roasters and the man behind the action. This is Ahmed Baha, the 2019 barista champion of Saudi Arabia. Hello. 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 How are you? Thank you, thank you. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too here. Hi. Long time. How are you? We then? miss you here. We miss the events. We miss the competing. Everything with you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. thank you. That's very kind. So, how long have you been here now? Uh, almost one year. Thank you for visiting me here. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's our honor. Yeah. to be here with us. Thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. Suppose roasting cafe, long away from Kuwait to here in Saudi Arabia. We have a cafe and coffee roasting in the same times. We work in world B2B, B2C. Yeah. So what's the roaster? Uh, it's, please. Yes, yes. It's a Giza, 15 kg. Quite. How many locations? We have uh, one in Kuwait and we have uh, two here in Riyadh right now. Okay. Uh, yes, and very soon we have a plan to be in, uh, in uh, Medina, Hafal Baten, even in Hay. It's a many uh, small cities inside Saudi Arabia. So there's two in, in Riyadh. Does the other one have a, a roaster also or just here? No, it's only here. All the production is coming from here. Uh, we hope to have a small factory soonest to transfer all the gisen we have we have two oh. one here in Riyadh and one in half in Baten. Uh, we will transfer all the, the rosters there in the factory and we will start our production from uh, the factory who does the buying of coffee the green uh, we buy from Zot it's Open a okay. company from Kamalistan. You, you trust this guy? Yeah, so much. It's so. Yeah, coffee from Carlos Do you remember Carlos? Yes, of course, of course. Yes. The guy who's in Canada never goes back to Colombia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, Charlo. Yeah. No, not really. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Uh, we have to serve you coffee first. Okay, it sounds so great. So you can tell us about. Okay. Well, who are you guys? Tell us about your guys. Hello. Yeah. Who are you? My name is Coffee. What? My name is Coffee. Co coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Yes. I'm like from Ghana. From Ghana? Yeah, from Ghana. How long have you been here in Saudi? Ah, uh, two years. And he is my trainer, Mr. Baha trained oh, me. Oh, you're trained by Baha. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's, a, that's an honor. Awesome. That's an honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you find people in Ghana? We have a big team in Hafer Button, all of them from Ghana. Yeah, our style is to bring in uh, African guys to working with us. We build this place, uh, it's like a factory. Only wood, metal, and African guys. In, in the bags, very simple. So this is what the idea. All the sack, the coffee is here. So to feel the experience is like your own factory. So you enjoy uh, working and sitting here in the place. Oh, excellent! Yeah, uh, we keep uh, discussion and make a cupping session together and keep sharing the knowledge together, all the team and me. So that's helping us to improve our skills. Fantastic. <laughs> Yeah. So how about the rest of you guys? I'm Isaac. Isaac, yes. Adarabe. That is Adarabe. Isaac Adarabe. You are from Ghana. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Did you I come at the same time? Actually no. my other brother. Oh, your younger brother? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, it's wonderful. Awesome. So is mom okay with you being here? Yes, yes. she's very oh, she's, oh, she's, she's okay. She's okay. okay. <laughs> I have been here two years. He has been here for three months now. Four. Oh, just three yeah. months. Ah, yeah. how do you like it? I like it very much. Cool. My name is Dedi. I'm from Indonesia. I've been here, I am uh, one week. We one hired week? him yes. only one week and one day. from Indonesia, but from he Indonesia. was working there is like one hour, one uh, year. Yes. One year as a commercial uh, barista. Which city uh, from? Cianjur. I live in Cianjur, West Java. Do oh, oh, you make coffee now? You have to judge me. I'm <laughs> always judging. This is my owner. <laughs> Ahmed. 
I have to wonder, are you making the coffee for me because you don't trust your baristas to make coffee for me, or...? No, because it, this is my honor to serving you coffee all the way oh. in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a good answer, I think. That's a good answer. The big head judge in Saudi Arabia, <laughs> I have to serve you. It, it was my pleasure serving you two times in 2018. I was in luck. I kicked out from the competition. Second time was in 2019. And alhamdulillah, I won the, the title. And this is the third time because I don't have the chance to serve you in the competition. So I will be serving you here in my well, that's very, very kind. Very yeah. kind. I look forward to it. <laughs> so what are you making for us? Uh, I will serving you Guatemala and in Gerto. Uh, it's natural process. 72 hours of hot fermentation. And African rest beds with a clear plastic. Moisture content 11.7 and water activity 0.54. We use 18.5 gram dose in, and we extracting 42 grams out while maintaining the body. But to clarify, the vibrant acidity, even the, the stone fruits uh, flavors. It will be like medium to high vibrant acidity with white honey, medium sweetness, and medium to low cacao needs uh, bitterness. With medium to high wet, silky texture, cacao needs in long, long finish of cacao needs, and strawberry. So for those of you who are watching that aren't familiar with barista competitions, <laughs> Ahmed has given me the full rundown as a barista champion would, talking about the origin, the, the, the processing, the drying times, he even talked about the different ratios, how much coffee he's using to go in, and how much weight he's expecting to come out. So that's the full deal. At a competition, we're going to listen to the barista, he's gonna tell us what, he, what we're going to experience, and then his score will be based on the experience that we actually have tasting the coffee. Oh, and look, even the presentation is nice. Flavor of strawberry, black plum, red cherry, and dark chocolate. I hope you enjoy it. Please, enjoy it. <laughs> shukran, shukran. All right, so here we are. Oh, and some water, too. <laughs> yeah. Attention to detail. Attention to detail. <laughs> six. We say attention to detail, six. Professionalism, six. So if you're, if you're new to the to the barista ideas. Six is the ultimate score that you can have in the competition. So here we are, we've got our nicely presented coffee in a nice cup. And then we're looking here for the, the crema, right? So here's the crema, we're looking for crema, making sure that it's fully solid and not broken. And then now it's just time to taste. I should Please. stir. I should stir, yes? I stir should five stir. times and take three full sips. You want me to stir or slush? Slush, it's okay. No okay, problem. five. One, five two, times. three, four, five. Three full sips. Three full sips. Let's Okay, what am I supposed to taste again? What am I expecting? You're expecting uh, medium to high vibrant acidity with medium white honey sweetness, medium to low cacao needs bitterness. Uh, flavor description is red cherry, black plum, dark chocolates, and strawberry. Long finish of uh, cacao needs and hand of strawberry. I would definitely say the strawberry is very apparent. There's a very nice strawberry tone to it. Cherry, now that he's seen the cherry, yeah, there's definitely like a an overtone of sour cherry. That's how I describe it. Chocolate, not too heavy, but the medium acidity, brightness, is, I would say is there. It's got, it's not like, sometimes when you have coffee that's really high in acidity and brightness, it's very puckering. This isn't so much. It's got a nice balance to it. And there is some bitterness on the finish, so I, I, I would say that's the cacao nib description for the finish and the bitterness of cacao nib is very accurate. 
Now we're also thinking about how the balance is between the structure of the coffee, taste balance, good, good to very good overall. So I would say about four. Four, four, very good. Good to very good, four. All right. Very good. I think very good. Very good. So we're talking about four. Yes. Uh, test balance. Taste, actually, the taste balance is good. Yeah. Flavor description. I think, I think overall very good. Oh. I think flavor description, I would say the flavor description, you can go, I would say five on the flavor description. Because you hit, I definitely think the, the strawberry is very apparent. Um, the cacao nib bitterness on the finish, I think that's accurate. Um, the, to me, the cherry is more sour cherry, but there is that nice cherry in the So I think, yeah, excellent. I would so say excellent. I win the title for the second time. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, would you like to try uh, milk? milk? Sure. Course? Yes, of course. One week and he can make drinks on the bar? Yeah. Uh, oh, because he has experience. Our style is uh, making three days full training for anyone we hire. Uh, after that, we put it inside the bar to check how's the cycle of the operation and be helping the other baristas and share the knowledge from them. So that will help us to grow in faster in, in the operation. So because everything here is not about only serving coffee but even how to communicate with the customers and the communication skills customer service smiling uh, taking care of about uh, all the details so that will never come if he didn't uh, work with them for 10 days after that we make evaluation for him and uh, we see how we can uh, punch uh, the mistakes he doing inside the bar and how we can improve this skills with him. So after three days, he have to work beside the barista. All right. So now he's working with you. Yes. What do you think? I think uh, so far he's really proved that he's great. Yeah. He's great. Yeah. He uh, he's catching up very fast, very quickly, and very impressive. Very impressed. So you're going to keep him? Oh, yeah, we are. We are, definitely. And uh, one thing I like about uh, Mr. Baha, he, it doesn't matter whether you have nothing about uh, any knowledge about coffee, he can train you to be a champion. And I'm really proud to say that uh, I'm great making coffee here. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> the thing about walking around with a camera is that you attract attention to yourself. Why didn't you interview this person? These guys are a few friends hanging out again after spending a few years living in the United States. Like most Saudis, they're spending their social time drinking coffee. And that's one of the most interesting things about life in Saudi Arabia. There is a prohibition on alcohol. Unlike much of the world, socializing is done without imbibing on booze. Instead, you find hundreds of cafes filled to the brim until the wee hours of the morning with people drinking coffee. And for a coffee lover, it doesn't get better than this. After a few moments, I ask them what they've got to drink. Just uh, 360 coffee. 360. It's, uh, from Colombia. From, uh, it's Colombian coffee. It's Colombia. It's a Colombian oh, coffee. Chalo. Yeah, it's like it's shallow. It's good. Actually, I don't know if you know, but Ahmed is the the current champion of Saudi Arabia for barista. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's why you're filming, right? That's why. That's why. That's why. Oh, that's yeah. really good. Welcome. Good luck. Good luck. For well, thank you. My friends. It's a pleasure talking to you. Let's enjoy the milk. Now we're gonna go behind the bar. This is the rare, hallowed, behind-the-bar scenes. Okay, so this is the oh, this is the special one from the hydromatic yeah. system for Kiss Van Der. It's controlling the water flow system. So uh, usually we prepare in the espresso here, the milk course in these two boats. Why only one? Uh, one because there is no no much uh, ordering espresso. So one for espresso uh, course is more enough. Okay. We sell bring like uh, 30, 35 uh, espresso cup per day, so it's not too much. But we serve milk course divided between uh, hot drinks and cold drinks a lot. It's like 400 to 600 cup per day. So I need two groups. So that's why I have uh, one hydromatic group head and two uh, totally normal. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. Let's go with uh, milk course? Yes, please. Let's do it.
So is this a different coffee? Uh, yes, uh, we have here Guatemala, uh, Ethiopia, uh, Brazil, and Ethiopia. All single origin? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How come no blending? Uh, I don't know, but okay. I don't like blend. Okay. That's why I didn't do any blend. I'm using Brazil for milk, uh, cold milk course, and Ethiopia for hot. Guatemala is for espresso. Sometimes we're changing to uh, Colombia. Special prep from Charlotte Farm. This is amazing. We will try it together, but as a drip, V60, if you would like it. Okay. okay. So tell me, you have Brazil and Ethiopia. Brazil for cold, Ethiopia for hot. Yeah. Why? Because uh, usually in cold drink, big size of cup with more ice, I need the high intense of the coffee and after test. And that's exactly what I've been getting from the Brazil. Uh, more chocolatey, caramelly, uh, very heavy body. So once I mix it with ice and cold milk, it will give me uh, the, the balance between the milk and coffee. But in hot drinks, I need to serve something special. So I need my customers when they test the coffee, the cup of latte or flat white, they keep testing the flavors and enjoying the experience. And that it's not working well with Brazil. That's why I divided uh, two grinders with two different uh, coffee beans for the milk, milk course, cold and hot. Okay. okay. So you make, oh, you do Spanish latte? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Would you why, like to drink? Why Spanish latte? It's a culture in Saudi Arabia. All the small girls, they like something sweet with coffee. So we serve them uh, a condensed milk mixing with a, a natural milk, very normal milk, and ice with coffee. So it will be not very sweet, but a touch of sweetness with the ice sponge. Even we serve it with uh, hot. for a nice clean um, was a definition between the white and brown and strong lines. I would say that's a four. Uh, and for that fish, because it's also got a nice sheen and a smoothness on the velvety fin texture. The fast extraction would be unbalanced espresso, but when combined with the milk, to give us a creamy mouthfeel with melted chocolate ice cream, with a biscuit, and beautiful low intense of strawberry milk chicken. Wow, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty, I mean, on the money, what you're saying. Yeah. Creaminess, strawberry. That light, like, ice creaminess to it. 
Very good. Very good. Very amazing pasta. That's lovely. That is lovely. That is lovely. That is lovely. Wow. Wow. Nice. It's nice to go to a shop and actually have coffee that matches what people say. <laughs> it's our pleasure to visit us here. You don't know how difficult it is to have coffee like this at a store. Uh, in Saudi Arabia? In the oh, in, in general. In the world. Like everybody yeah. has coffee and they, they say it's, it's this, it's this, it's this, it's this. Yeah. Very few places actually deliver. Yeah. But this is actually quite quite on the money for what he said. We love to share the, the knowledge and talking about the coffee with customers. Uh, once we improving their skills and the knowledge, uh, they will be related with us. And we can uh, find the coffee community is coming better and better. It's not about drinking coffee, but it's about how to love drinking coffee. How to know to choose your beans and when and why. This is a very good question. If we share it with our guests, the community will be very beautiful and amazing. And we have here in Saudi Arabia a tradition culture. So we try to be a bridge between modern and traditional approaches. This is our turn as a forest in Saudi Arabia. And I would like to serve you uh, some Colombian beans from Charlo Farm. From Charlo, okay. Yeah, he did very well. Charlo did really very well with this uh, La Palma crab. Uh, it's a special uh, special crab to Zod. It's natural fermented. It's really amazing. He clarified the acidity and the, the floral of lavender and vanilla. We roasted as a medium roast. Oh, lovely. And charging point, 215 for 11 minutes of roasting and 18% of uh, development. We do it for fast extraction, 2 minutes 50 seconds. Because we need to clarify the acidity, it's amazing acidity in this coffee. And also don't lose the, the, arom the aromatic of the lavender. So we just make it like a, a, a pet of fast extraction for the 20 grams. With a high ratio, 1 is to 17. We're looking for uh, a medium coarse grind setting. It's like a sugar. So for this, you're going to be using the, the temp, right? Yeah. So what temperature are you using? We're using for the Balma, uh, temperature is 93. Is that the same temperature for all of your single? No. no. For La Palma, 93. For the Ethiopia, we're using 91. And uh, for Guatemala, we're using 92. So why 93? 93 because I need to, to make uh, the extraction is equal. Can you smell, please? Lavender, black olives, blackberry. OK, very nice. Plum. Yeah, yeah. Plum? Yeah. method for V60? Uh, sorry, what do you mean by method? Like, are, are you, do you have a particular theory for brewing? Uh, I'm usually using uh, low amounts of the water for the blooming to just remove all the carbon dioxide and dividing the water for four uh, times of pouring. Usually the same amount of the water in the second pour the other two pours, I pour too much water to bring out the flavors and the sweetness and make the last one is the lowest to be like a 50, uh, 50 grams to reduce the bitterness. We will using the ratio of 1 is to 70.
So the last one can be certain shape. How many grams did you use originally? Uh, 20. 20 to 340? Yes, should be 340, yeah. You notice you have a different, different brewing methods. Why V60 instead of the origami or the clever or the chemex? The different is the brewing style itself and the type of the, of the filter. The B60 filter is very thin and only one layer, so it will not avoid the, the oils and lipids of the coffee to fall in the cup. So it will give us the high body with full of the flavors and the aromatic. But the Chemex filter is very thin, so it will give us... Very thin or very thick? Very thick. Very thick. Okay. Yeah with four layers, that will not uh, give us all the body and liquid oils from the coffee. So usually it will produce a very light body, but also full of the flavors and aromatic. It depends on the style and the barista itself uh, skills. So usually here we're using B60, not Chemex. Few of the people like this method, but almost all the Saudi guys, they like the V60 because of the heavier part. Yeah. Please, enjoy. Thank you. Oh, initially very juicy. And even though we've been brewing it, it's not really too hot to drink. It's actually at a nice temperature for drinking. But I think there's really nice juicy fruity notes. The body is kind of on the lower end side, so it's not too heavy. The finish is crisp and clean. I really like this fruity juiciness to it. It's really kind of nice. Mm. Nice chalo. I, I dig it. I'm digging it. The La Palma. So this is a Castillo variety from the Huila re region of, um, or I guess it's the department, Huila, Departamento de Huila in uh, Colombia. Sun-dried from 16, 15 meters above sea level. Five days of hot fermentation. After that, 15 days of drying on African red spots in, in greenhouse. But uh, Charlo will move these cherries during the drying stage in three levels. So he will start from the up to down. First, first uh, level, after three days, he will take it down. Then he will spend like uh, eight days in the low level to keep it drying for a long time. That would clarify, clarify the acidity and the aromatic of uh, lavender. Mm. He reaching 10.5 of moisture content, uh, 0.52, 0.52 years of water activity. It's the craft from 2021. He did very well. Yeah, yeah, this is lovely. Yeah. This, is, this produced is really delicious. Different six lots. This this lot is 28 bag. We receive it. This was the lowest. I think it's like from 40 to 60 bag for each one. But this one is, was the lowest one and the highest price. The cost green for one sack is uh, 4,800, almost 900. Reals. Yes. Per pound. Per kilo. Uh, per kilo. Per the sack. Oh, well, that's, that's pricey coffee. That's pricey <laughs> coffee. But very, very good. Very, very good. Yeah. So how do you sell, do you sell this as single origin? Yeah. 
Do you charge a premium for this? No, it's the same price. Uh, yeah. 16? Yeah. I draw. Our strategy is to using the coffee as a marketing, mm -hmm. not the people. So we bring uh, some good stuff, some good coffee. And we roast it and serve it for our customers with the same price so they, they will tell us and they will know the difference between the beans and origin and processing even the brewing philosophy so he will keep talking about us with his friend and his community so we don't need to bring people and pay for them to make a marketing for us we let our beans to talk about us but at, 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 at this price point <laughs> Is that, is that to say you're taking a loss? No. No, okay. No. Because uh, we are not selling this coffee too much. It's two days per week. We offer one day in the black coffee, Zoom, and one, one more day in the espresso Zoom. So, so you're rotating it? Yeah, th okay. that's a good. That's nice. I and mean, even we bring here uh, Panama Geisha from Tanzania. It's rank 7. Perfect Cross Company, it's for us. It's a Tanzania Geisha. Tanzania Geisha? Yeah, honey process. Okay, so. It's National Cup, it's when the seven rank in the National Cup. But is this pretty expensive coffee uh, as well? Or? One, uh, one kg uh, green, it's uh, 107. 107 real. 107. Uh, per kg. And you're offering this also at 16? We still yeah. not, no, we still not offering. We, we didn't trust this coffee yet. It's only uh, 20 uh, baht. Rank 9 from Tanzania. Honey process. Wow. Have you cut it yet? Still. Huh? Still, we didn't cut it. We didn't trust it. Yeah. It came uh, like uh, three weeks before. So we still didn't trust right now because uh, we just make a plan to, to launch it in the market, but it will not be the same price. So we it just higher a little bit. Okay. So we, we plan it to uh, to just put it on the shelf and sell it as a 250 grams for the customers, and maybe we can serve like two box, three box max in the park to give. The, the, our guest a gentle introduction about the Tanzania Geisha. This is the first time in Saudi Arabia someone to bring Geisha from Tanzania. Mm. All the roastery bring the Geisha from Panama. Right, right. Yeah, so we bring it to give a gentle introduction to our clients. How is the Geisha different from country to country? But it will be uh, a good and nice coffee to drink. It's more floral and uh, uh, yellow characteristic flavors. It's like, um, let's say, uh, mandarin, uh, orange, uh, apricot. It's not stone fruits. It's not heavy, not intense flavor like Panama, but more floral. So here we are. Pause, pause right? Pause. Boss, yeah. Why pause? How do you pronounce it? Boss, stop. Bo bo boss. Boss? Stop. It's boss? Yeah. In Saudi Arabia, you say boss? Yeah. Interesting. Pause. Okay. Stop. Good. Stop Pause. drinking coffee. Stop drinking coffee. Okay. Yeah. If you are woke, you have to stop. Boss. And drinking coffee. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. We're here at Boss Coffee here in Riyadh with the old champion here, Thank Ahmed Baha. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for hosting us. It's fantastic. An honor to uh, to be here with us today. Oh, that's very kind. Honor's mine. Yeah, and my pleasure, and my honor to serve you coffee again. Oh, thank you, thank you. So be sure to follow them on Instagram. Thank you. And uh, subscribe, and all that will be here. Sorry, we've been doing more videos. Yeah. So, all right. Have a good one. See you guys. Bye. See you.